Here we are for more Pokemon Fire Red. Yes, this is part seven of to be announced. Yeah. Okay, let's go look at my team up here, and I'm going to decide. Shall I switch? I shall switch. Switching it is. Okay, we're gonna leave town finally. Basically, to go through this town right here, this house. Yeah. Hard to miss. It's right next to the police officer. You know. Talk to this guy, he gives you... No, he doesn't. He basically gives the story of the house of... Got broken into, got dig stolen, and the rocket guy dug a hole in the side of the house. And then built a perfect archway around it in this, you know, process of leaving very quickly. But anyway, this is a Team Rocket for I'm going to leave this in because I feel like it. Um, he has a mod shop. Yeah. Okay. And... Yeah. I'm just having a really hard time commentating Fire Red. Like, this is the second time commentating this. Not because anything went wrong, because I thought it was really crappy commentary. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm having problems. I need to look up someone else's Let's Plays of Fire Red and see how they're doing it. Yeah. I don't know. Just, uh, whatever. Anyway, it has a mod shop. The next one is a, a Drowsy. I don't think we've seen Drowsy's yet. This is a uh, psychic, psychic type. Yeah. Um. I don't know this Drowsy specifically, but Drowsy's normally have Hypnosis, and, um, well, I don't think he has Dream, e dream Eater. Yeah. But their Psychic's a pretty de decent attack and special attack, so watch out for that, because that Headbutt did pretty decent damage. Headbutt? No. I think it's a Headbug. Whatever. Okay, and okay, I'll return to the team. I still give you TM28, which contains Dig. Yeah, this allows you to uh, leave dungeons and stuff. Well, I'm gonna go heal up real quick and buy some stuff before we leave town. I guess I totally remember to do that. Anyway, um, dig basically using a cave and I'll bring you to the uh, big ending of the caves, like the opening. Yeah, the, basically the entrance you can went through will bring you back there. So it's sort of like a free escape rope. And it's a pretty decent ground move. And I sold the nugget we got to buy and get some more super potions. Yeah. And potions are pretty much outdated now because they're having a lot more HP than this 20 now, so we're getting close to 100. I think we're in the hundreds now, I don't know. I was paying attention. Anyway, on the way out of the town, we go down here. Don't make that jump, because I've done that like every single time I leave, try to leave town, I always make a jump. And uh, right here on Route 5, that is a uh, Pokemon daycare allows you to place Pokemon in there, you leave them in there, they get XP when you're running around. This guy, he's only, I'm thirsty, roads clothes, go away. Fine, be that way. Okay, and we're gonna go through here. Now, this is some takes the Saffron, which the gate does. Uh, talk to this person, wants to trade for new land, blah, 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 leave me alone. Get out. And this is the underground path that actually brings us says underneath Saffron and pops up and by Cerulean City, which is on the other side of Saffron. There's, you know, compared to Cerulean. Yeah, this is a big meat of the game right here. Is the uh, five towns of Lavender. Um, you see, look at the cardinal direction. Cerulean City in the north, and there's Saffron in the middle. And right here we have a Citrus Berry. And then we have Lavender to the east, and then Cerulean to the north. Oh, no. Celadon to the west, and then we have Vermilion to the south. And we're going to do Vermilion. So we basically went from north to south here. Are bugs out here? Well, yeah, I guess we're out of bug territory finally. This is one of the last couple bug catchers we have to deal with. My god, I hate these guys. This guy's a Weedle, like usual. What else do you have? Oh, well, let me guess. A Caterpie? Yeah. Oh, and another Weedle. Yeah, it, nothing new here. Are you kidding me? Rock, rock. Here, Lucerica Lacianas, Mabiga, I don't know. Person, like, committed trees in here. It has a squirtle, but it didn't involve it, so I just, It pains me to see that, how an awesome squirtle is today now an awesome water turtle. But over this, like in episode three, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a private conversation. Um, I'm sound for deck and this guy can't talk, even though I think I answered that Team Rocket runs. Last episode. The nuggets, yeah. Okay, Pikachu. 
little candies, uh, from here. Yeah, I just had a squirrel, this one's a Pikachu. Yeah, I'm stealing my team here. Team stealers. Okay, go down here, and there's this guy. Yeah, oh, this guy is probably like the strongest bug catcher ever. See, he has a, uh, Butterfree. And this Butterfree just kills things. It's a level 20 butterf Butterfree. Yeah. And uh, that, that was it taking out two trees. And then he goes to the Moves to Sleep Powder and Diffusion. I think Poison Powder too. It's, it's a pain in the butt. What, what? In the Pidgey. Yes. So we have Pidgeys. It's where the. He's trying to make a really awkward segue to is this stupid person with a. Three Pidgeys. Yeah, like a Pidgey. A Pidgey. And a Pidgey. I told you. And they're all female too. It's just it's really. Throw me something new, like a Spiro or something. And speaking of Spiros, yes, yeah, another awkward segue. <laughs> yeah, that should be none of my channels. Awkward segues. Yeah. Yeah, I have like a segue with a giant tire and like a small tire. That's gonna be sideways the whole time. It's eradicate. So Raticate, uh, we've seen this before, there's evolution of Rattata. Yeah, I don't know why I cut that all in. Whatever, I, it, my editing sucks, really. There's no reason. This way, don't edit when you're half awake. <laughs> you don't have the time, you do have to end up editing when you're half awake. Okay, oh, something cool right here. Schools? Yeah, something's very cool right here. We heal up. Heals up and then we get the coolest things and the whatever. Anyway, right here. Like this person gives you the uh, really cool item called the Versus Seeker. God! Okay, um. Versus Seeker lets you to rebattle trainers on the. You know, out in the fields. And. Yeah, I don't think they get stronger. I think pretty much the same. But, um, yeah, they're really cool. And you get to recharge it. Yeah, it recharges like every like 100 to 150 steps. Yeah, but it's it, really good for like grinding. In fact, this guy reminds me of Will Ferrell for some reason. Like Will Ferrell with a hat. And the old ride, once you can catch Magikarps, of course, if you can follow me along, you already have Magikarp now. You bought it for 200 bucks. Or is it 500? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, over here. And this is the uh, Pokemon fan club. I could go around for a million for a little bit. Like this guy, he's like, I'm chairman of Pokemon Fan Club. I'm fussing about Pokemans, and yes, my favorite Pokemon Rapidash is cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. Think so? Yes, it's stunned, hugged with sleep, born, cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, I look at the time, kept too long. Please shoot me out. Get the bike voucher. Well, let's go back to the bike shop for and Cerulean and get the bike, which is very useful because it's faster. I'll be getting that later. Because we we'll be heading back to Cerulean soon. So. Anyway, this is the Diglett's Cave. We're going to enter it. Yes. But first, we're going to leave real quick. Yeah, because there's something over here I want. I want that. You want it? I want it. You want it? I want it. I don't know. Shut up. This. <laughs> Okay, in here, talk to this guy, he's all like, well, isn't surprised, he goes, okay. So this is a uh, really small cave, and, uh, and you have a chance of finding a really special Pokemon here. This is a uh, Doug Trio, and this is the evolution of Diglett. Yeah, so it isn't Doug Trio's cave, it's Diglett, and, and there's like a really small chance to find this, and they get to like the level 32. So if you find one, this is early in the game, I would recommend catching it, just using it, like a temporary party member, that's what, what I'm going to be doing. Because I have nothing super effective against the uh, next gym. So, yeah. So I'm just going to catch it. And especially because I'm at sort of a disadvantage because, you know, it's electric type gyms. Spoilers. Like, you don't even know that. Yeah, so I'm using this as a temporary party member. and Because I have nothing super effective against the next gym. It's electric gym. Like, I'm just repeating myself at this point. Um, yeah, fast forward this because uh, it's a really long fight. Jeez. I think like the new... I think they started this in Generation 3, can't tell, but um, you can use... Okay, stop yawning. You can um, actually use Pokeballs and Pokemon that are um, either using Dig or Flying. So like Rayquaza, you know, is an epic of pain. 
you know, because you can actually throw Pokeballs when it's flying. Yeah. Okay, let's see, whatever. Stop using that. Okay, went down. Dig a hole. It's like dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Yeah. Not as cool as it is in um, Generation Two, because it's like, like it literally just shoveling dirt above its head. So that's like the probably the coolest dig animation. Yeah. Hey, see, it does a lot of damage. This thing just destroys, especially because it's like five levels higher. Well, it's five levels higher than you know. Shell Shock, which has pretty good defense to begin with. Yeah, and I'm really, really wishing I had a all oh, great ball on me. Yeah, and it was kind of awkward without any game audio, but you know, but like I mentioned before, you can't, these games can't really fast forward the audio because then it sounds like an Atari inside of a blender. Yeah, I think I even used that metaphor before. Or I think it's a metaphor, I don't know. Can't okay, and. Too lazy to think of it top of my head. Yeah, I think it's... Ed Ford's not using like her as, or is it simile? I don't know. Whatever. That's about English. Nothing about Pokemans in here. Yeah. Come on. See, this This thing is not going down, not going down the fight. Yeah, so... I was pretty lucky to catch this thing. Well, find it, at least. Yeah. Because most of the time, you just go through here to only find Diglets, and... I don't know, Diglets are okay. Yeah, they, they don't dig already, so that'll be coming kind of useful for the gym, but this one's just so much stronger than Diglett, so I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah, I think the first time I found a Dodrio in here, it was actually a level 32 in a um, different file, not even my practice file. Yeah. Come on, no, shoot, it was too close. Come on, let me do this. Nope. It just, when it shakes three times, it's like it's taunting you. It just drives me nuts. Oh, ouch. Yeah. It reminds me of a comment I got, you know, on the uh, finale of, well, not the really finale, but the, when I was fighting the final boss in Pokemon XD, you know, they're like, oh, wait, caught it, yay. I'll finish that statement in a second. So, Dodrio, Mantle digs through the ground, and strikes the opponent, six hundred for below. It was kind of loud. Okay, I'm definitely gonna save after that because that, that was way too much trouble. That, that was seriously like 10 minutes. I fast forwarded. And like I was saying, it reminded me of a comment I got on the uh, final boss of Pokemon XD saying weaken the Pokemon more. I was like, if I do another attack and I'm gonna fainting, it's gonna ruin the points. You know, I had that. Yeah, you know, that's a diglet right there. Basically, a weaker version of what we just fought. What really don't about these guys though is the one they're like every four spaces. Yeah. Too, they know, um, called, like, Sand Trap or something, and, um, that's its uh, ability, and, like, Static, like Choo Choo has, but, um, yeah, it doesn't let you run from battle, and you basically have to faint them, so if you're using, like, a fire type in here, like Charmeleon by this point, you're pretty much screwed. Okay, Anyway, I was wondering why I went up here, because I was expecting to cut down the uh, trees. Well, I was hoping there wasn't any trees to cut down, so for once at the side, I'm like, oh, wait. Yeah, forgot about those. Oh, yawn. Stop yawning so much! Yeah, so, see, this, uh, this brings you right to the Pewter City right here. I was hoping that tree wasn't there before. Well, it wasn't going to be there, but I forgot it was. Yeah. Anyway, this guy is all like... Talking about cut, which we don't have yet, which I can't believe it's we don't even have it yet. Probably have two badges. Yeah. Which, you know, this game you actually get cut kinda later than normal. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time in part eight of Fire Red. Hopefully with better commentary.